All right, so let's learn today about active voice versus passive voice. And one of the things that I want you guys to understand is that people don't have to know that you learned how to write. They just, if you write well, they're going to assume that you've always known how to write. Um, and again, I, I, I give you this preface that what I'm about to teach is a little different than um, what English teachers teach um, because it's not flowery. So um, there's a great quote there from Ernest Hemingway. Again, here are the vocabulary words for the quiz on Friday. Uh, this quiz should be no surprise to anyone. We talk, we've talked about it every day, and uh, here's another reminder of when it will be. Um, all right, so active voice versus passive voice and how to write a script. So active, obviously we know what that means. Passive is the opposite of active. So um, an active voice writing, the subject does the verb. All right, so right now, Mr. White records his lessons, okay? Mr. White records his lessons to teach the students. That's active. Passive would be the students, well, I can't, I, I even struggle to write passive. So let's go in here where I actually have some notes. Uh, I, this will not be shown, or you will not be shown this by me. Um, I, I struggle with passive voice. I've written an active voice for so long. So. Is this passage or phrase passive or active? The dog was hit by the car. Well, what did the action? That is your question, is, is what did the action? Well, the dog didn't hit the car. The car hit the dog. So this is an example of a passive sentence. Julie answered the question. Well, who did the action? The action is answered. So Julie did it. Julie, the subject, did the action. So Julie answered the question is an, ex an example of an active um, sentence. The fire was extinguished. Well, the fire can't extinguish itself. I guess it could, but in this case it wasn't. It, it didn't. Um, so this is an example of a passive. Uh, another one, the beaker was filled with saline solution. Another passive example. Uh, the beaker did not do the action. She slammed on the brakes as the car sped down the hill. Active, because she did the verb. She did the slamming. The brakes were slammed on her, on by her, as the car sped downhill. Again, obviously with the opposite there, the subject being the brakes and the verb being slammed. So active and passive. The subject of the sentence does the verb. So how are you going to write your scripts? Um, this is something that we, I used um, last year. And I thought it was a great example. This should look familiar to all of you, as this is the exact same thing that we did um, Monday and Tuesday of this week. I remember I told you that would come back to haunt you. Uh, for those of you who put a link in your source, you're going to be so happy, because now all you have to do is click that, those links to go back and do your research. So your topic, Morgan County High School Builds a New Career Academy. All right. Uh, your source, Morgan County Citizen, the Morgan Schools. And then again, Morgan Schools again, but this was a different thing. It was uh, the final presentation about the high school. So Morgan County School Systems is who the, it's about. They built a new career academy. Uh, it was supposed to be done in October, and it was, obviously, in Morgan County. Why? To ensure students will be successful in their learning and personal development, a more diverse career pathway choice. How? There you go. You've got all that. And then the why. So <clears throat> here is the script that I wrote. Uh, Morgan County School System builds a new career academy to be completed this October. The new building is located on Morgan County High School campus. The new building helps students with success in their career pathway of their choice. The $26.7 million building will be home to new programs such as video production and animation. wonder why that's in there. A major portion of the building has been funded by the One Morgan Foundation, which receives donations from community members. For more information, please visit morgancountyhighschool.com. So there's a lot of things in there. Um, obviously, it tells me who, what, when, where, why, and how, because I just literally went through here. If you go through this, it's going to help you with writing. So if you can check off all your check boxes here, your life's going to be pretty easy when you're writing. Also, as media members, we're going to encourage people to go do something to get some more information. So that's why I put that there. Um, again, who, what, when, where, why, and how. If you break down your research, your script writing 
comes off really well and really easy. And it's really hard if you do it right to mess up active voice. You notice that the school system built, okay? The new building is located. The new building helps. The $26 billion building will be home, okay? B is the verb there. Um, a major portion of the building has been funded by the One Morgan Foundation, okay? So this is a passive sentence, all right? I don't know if anybody caught that before. So it should be the One Morgan Foundation, which receives donations from community members, funded a major portion of the building. So keep that in mind as you're going. Think about subject and verb. Your subject should always do the action, all right? So hopefully this helps. And again, do not forget about the quiz on Friday for the um, vocabulary words here. If you have any questions, please let me know.